So there have been a lot of videos about the Galaxy S10, some Photoshop stuff, a few linked images and videos, but here's the full details on the Galaxy S10 family and everything you need to know. So Samsung went with something different this year for the anniversary edition of the Galaxy S line. The Galaxy S10 comes with three devices. Yes, we've seen the leaks, a lot of rumors, but here are the three devices that really set things apart this year. We've got the Galaxy S10e, the Galaxy S10, and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, all three devices may seem different, but they're also very similar as well. Granted, the E is supposed to be the cheapest device, it marks a lot of similarities across the board. First of all, they all have the brand new dynamic AMOLED display. This is the first HDR10 display with the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus coming in at a 2K resolution, while the Galaxy S, uh, S10e comes in at a Full HD Plus resolution. All of them have an aspect ratio of 19 by 9, and they do all have a hole punch uh, front-facing camera, which is really interesting. Now, the Galaxy S10 Plus has the dual hole punch camera, and the second camera is a time-of-flight camera. The first one is a new 10 megapixel selfie camera that records at 4K resolution. So if you guys remember, the Galaxy S9 recorded at 2K, now it's a 4K resolution and should also take better selfies as well with screen recognition. Now going back to that display, as I said, it's a HDR10 display. It's also a display that has 42% blue light reduction, which means right off the bat, it is much better to look at this display than any other display on the market. And it has a screen to body ratio of about 93%. So thinner bezels all around, it looks gorgeous. I mean, it's a, I mean, Samsung does this every year. They make really awesome looking displays. Now, the Galaxy S10e is the smaller of all devices, coming at 5.8 inches. The Galaxy S10 is at 6.1, and the Galaxy S10 Plus is at 6.4. I've got to say, the S10e feels really comfortable to hold. I enjoyed holding this device. Daniel loved it too. A lot of people there at the pre-briefing where I got to see all these devices early got to hold it and really enjoyed this. And I will have a video on the S10e, so take a look out for that because I think I fell in love with this device. I mentioned these devices have similarities. They all pack the brand new Snapdragon 855 processor that packs in a lot of features, uh, including, of course, better graphical performance. We're gonna see some really awesome performance in terms of gaming, as well as battery life that lends to what Samsung says will have all day battery life with all these devices. And speaking of all day battery life, each each device has, of course, different battery sizes. The Galaxy S10e comes in at uh, 3100 milliamps, the Galaxy S10 comes in at 34, and the Galaxy S10 Plus comes in at a whopping 4100 milliamp battery. So you should be getting some really good battery life, but also packs in some really new features to go with this. So we do have fast charging, but we also have wireless fast charging 2.0 which Samsung says will charge all three dis devices um, at almost the same speed as their regular fast charging. So that's pretty cool. So we should be cutting our fast charging, wireless fast charging times down to about an hour, 30 minutes maybe, or hour 40. We'll have to wait and see and check that out. The other thing they've added to all three devices is also something called wireless power share, or as you would like to call it, reverse wireless charging. Now, the Galaxy S10e does it, the S10 and S10 Plus. And what this means is simply that you can go ahead and wirelessly share your uh, power or you know wirelessly charge devices like say your Galaxy Watch or even the brand new Galaxy um, Airbuds. Now the Airbuds can basically just be dropped on top of each device, whether it's the S10, the S10 Plus, or the S10e to wirelessly charge that. Now speaking of the Galaxy Buds quickly, uh, they will be priced at $129. Uh, they also will have a smaller footprint, so easier to fit in your ear, six to seven hour battery life, and will have another six to seven hours within the case and should be also available once the Galaxy S10 launches. These devices also do have some differences, and one of the biggest differences is the fingerprint sensor. On the S10e, it's on the side button, and is a side fingerprint sensor, while the S10 and the S10 Plus do have a different fingerprint sensor. Using an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, something that Qualcomm has pioneered. What's really interesting about this is how fast and responsive it is compared to anything out there on the market. 
because the ultrasonic sensor maps your fingers with down to the groove. So basically it does, you know, depth mapping, if you will, that's how I like to call it, uh, which means that if you've got wet fingers, oily fingers, dust, chicken wing on your fingers, you can go ahead and press that and it will still recognize your fingerprint and unlock your device. Right now it is in a specific location, but I've got to tell you, I can't wait to try some chicken wings and make some videos with the kernel uh, showing you how the fingerprint sensor actually works on this device. So that's something that's clearly different with this. Now when it comes to storage, the Galaxy S10 and storage and RAM, the Galaxy S10e starts off at six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. In fact, all devices start at 128 gigabytes of storage. The S10 only has starts at six and moves to eight. While the S10 starts at eight gigs of RAM, it stays at eight gigs of RAM, but moves all the way up to 256 gigabytes of storage. While the S10 Plus starts at eight gigs of RAM, moves all the way to 12 gigs of RAM and up to eight terabyte of storage. And this is where some of that differentiation comes in. The 12 gigabyte uh, RAM version, one terabyte of storage, also comes with its own specific color, which is a ceramic, uh, white and black color scheme that is specific to that. Now the other versions will have the crimson green, they will have the black, uh, they will have a white, they will also have kind of like this coral color to it. So they've got different colors out there for the Galaxy S line and the Galaxy S10e will have that unique yellow color which is really striking and nice on this device. There are a lot of features packed into all these devices and we haven't even talked about the rear camera. Now the rear camera on the Galaxy S10 line is really, really unique. Now they've got three cameras on the S10 and S10 Plus. The S10e has two cameras. Now, uh, two of those cameras work all the way through. So the S10e doesn't have a telephoto lens. It does have their brand new ultra wide lens, it's, uh, which comes in at 16 megapixels and a field of view about 120 degrees, so it's pretty wide. And also has a dual pixel 12 megapixel camera, which is a wide standard wide angle lens. Now the telephoto lens is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens which is on the S10 Plus and the S10. But what you have with this camera is a couple of things. One is the new record function. You can record video in super steady shot. So think about the GoPro 7 Black which had the steady shot that was really awesome last year. You can do that now on your Galaxy S10 line. S10e, S10, S10 Plus. All three can do the steady shot and video recording, which is really, really cool. And also they do have 4K, um, 4K recording at 60 frames per second. So that's also something that's packed into the device. The camera app is also well flushed out, much smoother, everything's at the bottom. One UI updates there to really show you how smooth and easy it is to work. The uh, headphone jack is still there. So if you're wondering, just like me, you can plug in your headphones that you have and enjoy your Galaxy S. 10 audio right there, which is also pretty good. Now you've got dual stereo speakers as well on this device. Uh, they've been tuned by AKG. We'll have to see how those speakers sound if they may improve from last year. But there are a lot of things that are packed into this devices that I say go a long way to set it apart. The S10e is really similar to the S10 line, but has differences. And there's still one more device left there is the 5G version of the Galaxy S10. Now the 5G version of Galaxy S10 comes in at 6.7 inches. Um, in terms of screen size, 19 uh, by nine aspect ratio. It does have, of course, the dual hole punch in the front and four cameras at the back. One of them is a time of flight sensor at the back of this device. Now it comes with a whopping five, five milli, a 5,000 milliamp battery, and it has the 5G logo at the back of this device. It will be launching in about Q2, uh, coming I think in Verizon first, and we'll move to the other car carriers shortly. I think about oh, two months or, or a month or two. Don't quote me on that aspect yet. But in terms of pricing, you're wondering, the Galaxy S10e comes in at 749. The Galaxy S10 comes in at 899, and the Galaxy S10 Plus comes in at 999. So you can see how Samsung has set the pricing for all three devices and really puts a lot of focus on the S10e because it does pack in a lot of features and also the S10 Plus. Now, one more thing to mention, the S10 Plus does have Dolby Atmos game mode because it also has the vapor chamber on there as well um, in terms of gaming. So we'll be showing you a lot of gaming on that device as we move forward. So that is the Galaxy S10 line. Uh, Pre-orders will start on February 21st for you. 
and you will be able to pick it up in stores on March 8th. There's a lot of information on all these devices. We'll be doing a lot of videos for you. I'll be at the launch event and we'll give you a lot more details on the fingerprint sensor, on gaming with that Snapdragon 855 processor, since this will be the first device to actually feature that. And some of the other features like the steady shot you will find on the Galaxy S10 line. So if you have any questions guys or any comments or anything that you want to know about the Galaxy S10 family, let me know. I'll try answering them for you. Otherwise, go check out our other videos on the Galaxy S10, as well as also uh, One UI. And if you want to check out more from this channel, go ahead and subscribe to us if you haven't already and hit the notification icon. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.